gonna take this not anymore I have been fortunate enough to play in a, in a really awesome rock band for the better part of uh, 15 to 18 years so to do something like this that is not a rock band it's kind of like a musical like an opera but like a one-man show and so the idea is to develop that more uh, in a way I feel like if I was to like start another band it's, it's kind of like taking a dump on the legacy of the Deers, you know, like I wouldn't want to touch that, you know, so I kind of wanted to do something that was completely solo and like not have a band because whatever band I'm going to cobble together around that is not going to come close to the band I'm already in, you know what I mean? I think for the most part, it's kind of going over people's heads. I think that what they're seeing is possibly the future, and they won't, they won't realize it for another like two to five years. When I started writing the album, I was writing it as a narrative. So the album has a narrative. It's basically the soundtrack to a musical. I, I've told people that it is like, uh, Dune meets Slaughterhouse Five meets Jesus Christ Superstar. It's also based on this comic strip called This Was Your Life, about a guy who dies and he's then he's judged and then he winds up being sentenced to go to hell. But I'm expanding the piece to be like a little more like the journey of this character who go, who actually goes to hell and he's looking for a way out he, and he finds, ultimately, he will find a way out of hell. I do come here regularly and Something late at night that comes in handy as an alternative to going for a sloppy poutine. Sometimes you, you keep it light. You go for a rip and dip, buy some cream cheese, grab a bag of bagels, fresh bagels, and they're hot, it's amazing. Rip it, dip it in the cream cheese, just eat it right away. Rip and dip, you're good to go, right? Yeah. 